What's good, people? All right, y'all know what it is. I'm about to randomly relate. Reverse rants, no hate. Now, look, I'm about to have a little fun, man, but I'm about to talk about something that's real. You see what's in the background? Okay. So, Fight Night Champions. 2020, we still playing this game because it's, it's just that good. We don't have a new one. Now, um, I was on a uh, channel, a couple of channels, a lot of channels actually, and people like to make videos complaining and, and they rant about um, what's killing this game, who who make the game not fun, and I don't like playing this kind of, against this kind of person, that kind of person, and just a whole lot of like craziness, man. Sometimes, man, we get a lot of people over here and we just go at it. You know, we even bet, okay, real money bet on computer fights. Just having fun, man, you know. Um, what are the things I will say, okay? I think that way too many people take video games in general just way too serious. This is supposed to be fun, man. And you go on channel after channel and people are just cursing each other out using a bunch of crazy language about nothing it's a video game it's meant to be fun here's reality you're not going to win all the time a whole lot of you are not nearly as good as you think you are and basically you just and it's a lot of a lot of immaturity a lot of childishness because first off how are you going to tell somebody how they can and cannot fight you can't do this you can't do that Oh, you create players, man. You, you can't give them this kind of color and that kind of color. You know, you have to do this. You have to do that. Oh, you can't. You know, I do this and I like this. Okay, that's your business. You know, how are you going to say, tell a person how they can and cannot play the game? I hate playing people that just run all day. Oh, man, y'all make the game boring. You, you, you can't just run. You got to engage. Yeah, you know what? I get it. It's a different challenge from what you're used to. Okay, so guys who don't feel comfortable getting in there and mixing it up, they probably don't know the buttons that well, you know, or probably they really probably don't really even know, you know, I can say combinations, like I can tell you when I'm going to throw it and throw it, okay? They probably can't even do that. And basically, if you're in a real fight, you're going to tell somebody, hey man, stop moving so much, stand here and fight me. Or is it your job to learn how to cut off a ring so you know how to negate all of that? Well, basically... If your skills are up, you can you can nullify any style. It just comes down to if you're evenly matched, who makes the least mistakes. It's as simple as that. When I first started getting into this game, um, I'm just modest about and, and, and humbled about what I what where my what my skills levels are with with, with 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 whatever situation. Before I learned how to like when I first started winning against different people, I'm like okay okay. Um, I didn't really know how to block body shots too good. Mike Tyson would knock me out every time. Why? Because I simply didn't know how to block body shots too good. So, you know when you're playing story mode and you're fighting with Andre Bishop and all or whatever and, okay, you're building up and all that, whatever. Okay, basically, what I did to get better, I said forget story mode. I started using different fighters and different styles. I'm really good with Holyfield as far as actual fighters. Holyfield, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, Bernard Hopkins. Um, I, I'm good with Ali, but I don't feel like I'm as good with Ali as I am with Holyfield. Okay, Roy Jones is that dude. I like the. I want to use Roy. I'm with Roy. I had to take a couple of ass weapons. And we got the game on the highest level. And I fought Joel Kawasaki like five times, man. And it's like every time I would fight Joe, he wound up knocking me out. And it was like, okay. I can't use Roy Jones the same way I use Holyfield. That's the beauty of it. You can't, in your mind, you're trying to make this guy do it. No. Their punch schemes are different. The way they set shots up and all that. Um, I don't like to complain. Uh, Roy is not nearly as fast on his game as he was in real life. I don't know why he put his speed where it is. But at the end of the day, um, look, there's no rule that says 
you, you, you can't create a fighter that has the same as Ray Robinson or Mike or better or whatever. I fought guys who they'll make up a character and they have everything up on a hundred. I'll use Sonny Liston. I'll use somebody with eighty two to eighty four percent uh with, with, you know rating and not and, and beat them with that guy. Um if you even watch computer fights, you can have a guy on a hundred, like I said, and you'll put him in there against a guy that's eighty two and he'll end up beating that guy. The computer don't use these guys the way you intend on using them. And even if they did, it's up to you to get your skills up. And I'm not going to give my secrets away because I might wind up fighting some of y'all one day. You know, and I'm gonna tell y'all I don't want to give my, my stuff away what I do. But skill wise, I'll say this I will come complete. I can fight going forward, I can fight going backwards, I can, I can mix it up, I can do whatever. I can counter punch. I wasn't always that good. So for me to tell someone how to fight, oh, you can't do this and that, I have a partner. When it comes to live or 2K, this guy knows how to just, like, he hit that three-pointer. He is like he hardly ever misses three points. He just knows how to go and hit those corners. And, and that's, that guy will sit here for hours, just hours. And you're playing somebody, you, you ain't got no insight. Come, come, come in the paint. Come in the paint. All you got is a jump shot. All you got, all you got is a jump shot. That's a sore loser. The problem is you can't stop that jump shot. So you're trying to that that's the that's the way of you trying to get him to stop it is by by begging him in a in a in a in an angry way. That's all that is. Please, please, man, stop. I can't stop your jump shot. You keep lighting it up, you keep hitting them threes on me. You know, how am I gonna tell somebody, oh man, you 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 can't be running and all this get together and, and get a community, a fight night community together so we can block and ban people and right? we don't wanna fight this guy because this guy is this and that. It, it's like, man, listen. You guys just take this way too serious. It's video games. It's meant to be fun. And these are grown as men carrying on like this. And you have a lot of kids that come on and play this game as well. And you're cursing out kids. You're being disrespectful, rude, and ignorant about a freaking video game. I mean, you guys need to travel. How they do street fighting and Mortal Kombat and all that. Go, go actually make some money. Do tournaments and make some money. And if you... Um, can't adjust and against these different styles. You may not like fighting those guys because of that, but if you can't, then you're just simply not as good as, 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 as you portray to be. Because imagine if every fighter had the same speed, same skill, everything. Same height, same everything. Then you say they should have made it more realistic, man, because everybody don't fight the same way. You have a brawler. You have brawlers. You have... You have pure boxers, you have boxer punches, you have counter punches, you have it all, man. Outside fighters, inside fighters, right? You know, conventional, orthodox, south. So it's your job to figure out how to cut off the ring, how to, how to, I'll learn how to do all those things. So it's nothing to me. And as far as playing online, any game you play online, you get a bunch of disgruntled people. They, they don't know how to, hey, you know what, let's just have some fun. You can take it, you can want to win, you can fight as hard as you want. To win. But when it gets to the point you guys are sitting up here name calling like a bunch of little kids, man. And acting like really ignorant. It's fight night champions. It's a video game. Okay? What what I hope they do if they make a new one. Whether it's fight nights or a different series, whatever, fine. So be it. I hope they put a shadow boxing mode on there. That would help everybody fine tune with, you know what, pretty much the buttons. I know what does what. It, it, it'll help you learn quicker because... A lot of people, they just they just sit there like, I'll give you an example. I still have Knockout Kings for my GameCube. And a lot of people that's like, yo, I love Knockout Kings. They don't really like this as much. Why? Knockout Kings is not as fine-tuned. Everybody has the same exact body on there, for one. That's not, that's not why they like it, but the same exact movements. Everybody has the same things. Even if they, you know, have different... Uh, percentage levels they still it, it's the same things and basically with knockout kings it's not about skill it's about who has the faster fingers now i can use skill on there same thing you know mix my shots up slip move but even though i can knockout kings is not really designed for that 
to where it's effective. Now, if the person you fight does the same type of thing and want to make the fight look realistic, okay, whatever. But guys will sit there and throw 40, 50 jabs and just one hand all, all night long, just throwing no no real rhyme or reason, just throwing wild shots. Just a bunch of just it's just like an arcade simulator. So it's fun in that way if, if you're into that type of thing. But ever since I got into this, Knockout Kings is one of those, okay, I got it. And you know what? It's boxing. But it's nothing like this. You understand what I mean? So even when I'm playing Knockout Kings, I can't tell the guy, oh man, all you're doing is mashing buttons. Right? I got to figure out how to stop it, right? And guess what? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And that's because that game, the mechanics of that game is not nearly as defined as these as, as this. So for somebody who win, you know, just mashing buttons, um, when it comes to, you know, you have to have some skill. You have to know how to block and move and you'll drain yourself and you'll get knocked out. They don't like that. That's why. Because it's it's more realistic. So, if you're playing, I don't care what the game is. Okay? Um, I don't complain. Again, it's just games, man. I mean, I'm a PUBG guy over Fortnite. I've seen people wearing banana suits, taking balloons, breaking buildings down. I don't complain about it. It's just not something I'm into. It's just because it's just, it's just not, just, it's not me. That's all. But I think we're taking this stuff way too serious, man. Um, you win some, you lose some, man. Everybody want to tell you how, how undefeated they are, how they got the best record. They're the best at Fight Night Champions. And then they make videos ranting and complaining about everything. And it's like, are we supposed to be having fun? This is part of my issue with the online community. It's not the guys who run, you know, as you want to say, or they, they don't engage. No, it's you guys that come on here and complain about everything you want to tell people how to dress their characters you want to tell them how they should fight how they should put a, a character together a fighter together oh you can't give them this oh why'd you change ali outfit ali never wore that why'd you i mean like that's what make it not fun is all of you sore losers who think that whatever you think you're the, you're the begin or end all whatever you think whatever you like that's what everybody's supposed to think and like and that's just not the way it goes that's what make it not fun and that's part of the issue with the online community is it's so many complainers and everybody's trying to make sure, oh, this guy does this and this. And to tell people, oh, you can't use Ray Robinson. Well, who the hell is Andre Bishop? Who the hell is this Mr. Frost or whatever you call him? All these guys, their stats are way up. And for the record, they gave Mike Tyson, I don't care what his number is, his punching power in that game is like ridiculously like crazy. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So if you're using a guy, certain fights... It's just mis uh, it's just a mismatch as far as the computer's concerned. But there's other times, because like I said, had a guy fighting, his stats is all up to 100. Got knocked out by a guy whose stats is at like 84. Um, got knocked out like three rounds. So how you build them, your punch selection, what punches you, you what, you know, it, it, it's everything how you build a fighter. But man, relax. Tone it down. This is really not that serious. It's video games. If we're not having fun, why the hell are we playing? I just can't mess with you guys that sit up and jump on him, brag. All you do is talk about how great you are. Nobody can beat you. I'm undefeated. My record is this and this. And just a bunch of name calling and crazy stuff. And then as soon as you get your ass whooped, you're making videos complaining and, and want to show proof I did this and that. Oh, a racist guy did this. This person said it's video games, man. So, when you're in the comfort of your own home, you can do whatever, and you have to deal with that. And that's part of the online community, that, whatever game you're playing. It's just, like I said, a bunch of foul mouth, just angry, disgruntled people who, they're mad because they can't win. And this game right here, if you got your skills up, I don't care if a person run, whatever they're doing, if you don't know how to make the adjustments, that's on you. People are not supposed to fight to give you the better chance to win. They fight the way they have to fight to win. And I know you get those guys who just move, 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 move. And after 10 to 12 round fight, you still have like half your, your, your energy. I get you. I know what you're saying. And, and I understand. Yeah, you might not like that. But you have no right to tell anybody how they can fight. And trying to get people to ban this person and all this nonsense. And just, I mean, get a life, man. It's like you guys got way too much free time on your hand. Like, be honest with you. Um... Just lighten up. It's not that serious. Fight Night Champions is a great game. We still play it in 2020. And 
I mean, one of my kids just learned this past like month, and he's he's like damn near as good as I am. I mean, he just picked up. He, he has a knack for games. That's just him. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm helping him to get better. I'm not going to play him and try to give him the wrong advice so I can win. No, let's go. Let's make it fun. You win, you lose. It's fun. If I win, it's fun. It's satisfying in the gracious way. If I lose, it's no anger. Hey, yo, good win, good fight. Let's go. This is what we do. And we don't care about keeping records, to be honest with you. I mean, I probably would have did something like that when I was like 15 years old. But everybody, I'm undefeated. I'm this. My record is that. I'm this and this. Well, stop complaining. Get your skills up and win some fights. Anyway, it's not that serious. It's just video games. And, you know, if you ain't having fun, you shouldn't even be playing. You guys need to stop making all these videos about nonsense. You do what you want to do. It's not like I have to watch. But it's just so it's like amazing how people can just get so angry about something that's why we can't enjoy anything. We can't enjoy anything. Because you know why? Instead of just enjoying, we become critics. And everybody's a critic. Everybody knows what should be this and that. And you shouldn't and I shouldn't. And I got the way. What I know is more than what you know and all of this nonsense. And it's just, you know, you give the games a bad rep. You know, you give people a bad rep. Everything is just complaint, complaint, complaint. There's what can we play? What can be made? What cell phone can they make? What video game? What what TV show? What can be what can be made that we actually can just enjoy and not sit back and have to complain? It means nothing. So anyway, that's all I want to say in this video. Catch y'all on the next one. Keep playing Fight Night Champions. Stop all the complaining.